Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. We are now gathered together. Let us begin our holy celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in order for us to become worthy of the holy celebration, let us pause for a while, and in silence, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. This word came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Rise up, be off to the potter's house. There I will give you my message. I went down to the potter's house, and there he was, working at the wheel. Whenever the object of clay which he was making turned out badly in his hand, he tried again, making of the clay another object of whatever sort he pleased. Then the Lord, the word of the Lord came to me. Can I not do to you, house of Israel, as this potter has done, says the Lord. Indeed, like clay in the hand of the potter, so are you in my hand, house of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God while I live. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Put not your trust in princes, in the sons of men, in whom there is no salvation. When his spirit departs, he returns to the earth. On that day, his plans perish. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Blessed he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Please stand. Open our hearts, O Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea 
which collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they haul it ashore and sit down to put what is good into buckets. What is bad, they throw away. Thus it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Do you understand all these things? They answered, Yes. And he replied, Then every scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household who brings from his storeroom both the new and the old. When Jesus finished these parables, he went away from there. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Dear brothers and sisters, yesterday morning, we experienced a very strong earthquake. At lumitaw na naman yung mga naririnig natin that really scares us that this might be a delubio na baka daw ito na yung end of times. And uh, if you notice, many of some religious sects promote this statement in order for us, for them to gather more members. At minsan, ang nangyayari, natitrivialize yung natural calamity into a punishment that God would inflict us. And this make people afraid of what we should accept natural happenings in our earth. However, my dear brothers and sisters, one reality we should never forget is our God is God of creation and not of destruction. So we have to be re very careful, truly, about attributing the distractions that are happening to us to the Lord who really wants to create us always. So we must be careful about attributing to Him the natural calamities that we are experiencing. Sabi nila, thus it will be at the end of the time. Kaya tayo natatakot at napepressure. But if we're going to look back with the history of our salvation, God always wants to save us. Even in the beginning of time. That is why we should not be surprised when Jeremiah described God in the first reading. Natayo, we as human beings, we must accept that we have imperfections. Like a clay, which is not always molded so pleasingly. And Jeremiah describes of God, whenever the object of clay which he was making turned out badly in his hand, he tried again, making of the clay another object of whatever sort he pleased. God is described like a potter who always want to mold clay according to what it pleases him. In other words, 
God is so patient in our imperfections because that is how compassionate He is. And this is a wake-up call for us, my dear brothers and sisters. Because in reality, we are truly experiencing difficulties with some members of our church. If God really wants to give chances for our imperfections, so must we also to our brothers and sisters. We have to be members of a church who are more accepting because our church, even though there are imperfections among her members, the church still remains a sacrament of salvation because God always makes way to restore good things in us. So we have to always take note that God wants always to recreate us who are His children. And what are we to do now? We must humbly allow ourselves to be molded by God because like a potter, He makes us, He makes our life good creation. So, my dear brothers and sisters, what we heard today in the Gospel gives us hope that at the end of time, every one of us would be sorted out and given rewards according to our deeds. Because God gathered each one of us in our church. Like a net, we members are all sort of fish. Some of us are good, some are bad. But never forget that it is God who would sort us and give us reward. Please stand. Let us respond with faith to God's invitation to enter His kingdom. In humility, let us ask Him, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the church may never stop proclaiming the gospel to all people, places, languages, and cultures. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that peoples may not remain closed within particular traditions, but enrich one another in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that those who possess nothing in this world may inherit the richness of Christ's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that those who are discouraged by the pains of their trials and sickness may not close their hearts but learn to grow through their sufferings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that the dead may be welcomed into the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, 
make us share in your love open to all people and welcome all with our brother Jesus Christ now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him, through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he himself took bread and giving thanks broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At a Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May, may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.